Ah, the English speaker learning Japanese, armed with a secret weapon. Many loan words in Japanese come from English, so you might stroll around Japan, hear some familiar words, and think, I got this. But hold up, this advantage is a double edged sword. Sure, many katakana words come from English, but their meaning and pronunciation have taken a life of their own. The temptation is to assume that they still work exactly like their English counterparts. Spoiler alert, they rarely do. Remember this loan words are genuine Japanese words. So, my advice is to forget the English pronunciation and meaning when learning one of these words. As a beginner, and even later, I admit, I'd see a katakana word translated into English and sprinkle a little katakana flavor on the English pronunciation. More often than not, I got puzzled looks. These words have evolved, sometimes subtly, sometimes dramatically, into something uniquely Japanese. I know it's obvious, but this is important, so I'll repeat myself. Loan words are real Japanese words. Take words like salaryman, salaryman, or consento, which surprise means electrical outlet, not consent. They've got familiar roots, but very different branches. If you truly want to learn Japanese, mastering these differences will help you avoid awkward moments and give you a deeper understanding of Japanese. All right, enough pep talk. Today, let's break down one katakana barrier with the word. Follow. Follow. You might think, I got this, and then stop because I implied earlier that you probably don't got this, and you'd be right. The second thought, not the first. Yes, follow comes from the English follow, but it's a cousin and not a twin of the English word. Follow in Japanese usually means support or Compensating for someone's shortcomings. For example, imagine a situation where you downplay your ability in front of someone you admire, but your best friend standing right next to you doesn't take the hint. Instead of disagreeing and saying, Oh, your abilities are much greater than that, your friend agrees with you and even says a few inconvenient tidbits that confirm and affirms what you said. In this case, you can say, this doesn't mean although I'm being followed, I'm somehow irritated, but rather although I'm being backed up or supported, it's somehow irritating. We'll look more at the different meanings later, but this is just one example how a familiar sounding word can hold surprises. Pronunciation Let's start with the pronunciation. In English, the word follow has Two O letters. However, they are pronounced differently. Fa, lo, a, o. In Japanese, foro also has the two O sounds, but the O sound is consistent. Fo and lo. About that fo, it's not in the original goju on hiragana chart. It's made by combining hu with a small o to approximate the English fo making the fo sound. Start with the F sound. Unlike the English F, which involves the upper teeth touching the lower lip, F is a soft puff of air between both lips. Think starting to say who, but with a lighter touch. Remember, don't let your upper teeth touch your lower lip. Next, move on to the O sound. Make a small rounded mouth shape like you're pursing and pushing your lips out for a pure O. And then blend them. Combine them smoothly to approximate FO, but with the gentler Japanese H. Now the R sound. The Japanese R is closer to a blend of L, D, and a soft R. The tongue lightly taps the ridge behind the upper teeth, more like the start of dog or light in English. D, l. It's quick, flicking touch, not like the R sound where the tongue doesn't even touch anything. And remember, the O is elongated. Keep it going for two beats. Finally, the pitch accent starts high, then drops on the second mora, 
and stays low. Practice saying this a few times. Follow. 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 Usage. Now that we've discussed the importance of stopping to consider the pronunciation of katakana loan words from English, let's turn to the meaning of foro. There are three main meanings of foro in Japanese today. The first one, used with social media, is similar to English, but pay attention to the second and third definitions. Usage number one, social media context. This is similar to English. In the context of social media, foro retains the same meaning as follow in English. It refers to subscribing to someone's posts or updates, such as on Twitter, X, or Instagram. For example, I followed my friend on Instagram. This use is nearly identical to English, where following someone's account lets you see their posts in your feed. Usage number two, supportive context. This is unique to Japanese. One of the major differences is that foro in Japanese can imply support or help. This sense of the word is common in business, interpersonal relationships, or any scenario where someone is covering for or assisting another person. This nuance doesn't exist in the English follow. Example. I will support him through his mistake. Or cover for his mistake. In this case, it implies actively helping or compensating for someone's shortcomings rather than just following their actions. Usage number three post support and tracking. In other words, following up. There's a usage in Japanese where foro means continue to monitor a situation or providing follow up, often in business settings. For example, it could refer to checking in after a meeting or project to ensure progress, which in English might be better translated as following up rather than just follow. Example Project no Shinchoku of Horo Steimas. I'm following up on the project's progress. The key differences are in English, follow generally means to physically or metaphorically track or observe something. And in Japanese, while it shares this meaning in social media, it extends to include supporting or compensating for someone in times of need. Thus, the word has expanded in Japanese to be more versatile, covering not only the act of following, but also actively helping someone, especially in professional or personal situations. So, my advice is when you hear foro, unless the context is social media, Think of it as meaning support rather than the English follow. And nine times out of ten, this will help you understand the meaning. Oh, and be sure to follow us on social media. Until next time. Channel 登録してね。